Hello beautiful Aquarius. So welcome to my channel, Miss Reem Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your first half of August readings. Um, so I started to separate the spiritual growth readings and the romantic love spreads um, into two different videos. So this video is going to be for your spiritual growth, your healing, your ascension, your guidance, anything that you need to hear to help guide you on your journey. And then there will be a separate video for your romantic spread. So I decided to separate them because it was just easier for me to read the energies. Um, I think it's just easier for the viewers. So. I'm going to do it this way from now on. Um, I'm just feeling guided to do it like this. It's also a little bit more organized for me. <laughs> so, okay, for Aquarius. Okay, so big energy for Aquarius. I mean, there's so much prophecies being um, unfolded for you, Aquarius. There are so many of you coming into your true authentic nature. We are in the age of Aquarius. You are leading the pack. You're really stepping into who you are. And it's such a beautiful energy for you. And I'm so excited. And honestly, I'm honored to channel for your energy. It's really amazing. Um, this is the, I think it's called the Sufi Wisdom Oracle deck. Yeah, so I just recently purchased this and this deck is really beautiful. So um, we're going to get a few messages from here and then we'll talk to the goddesses and then we'll do a short spread using the Muse Tarot, okay? For beautiful Aquarius, please. Any messages for Aquarius? Okay, time to play. Make time to dance and play. Okay, so just enjoy life. Joy, happiness. There is, um, I'm also feeling a lot of humor. This is also lighthearted energy. So because there is a lot of, sorry, let me move these. Because there's a lot of energies that are quite heavy with your transformation and with your awakening and your journey the divine is really saying to you, play dance go outside take a walk enjoy nature find the beauty and the playfulness in nature as well um dance some of you may be professional dancers um you know make time for friends family just anything to anything to not feel so heavy because I feel like there's a lot of heaviness around you Aquarius mainly because of the energies that are leaving your body you're recalibrating you're awakening you're ascending you are coming into your true authentic self you are going through major healing and that's not easy so it's just a way to kind of shift into more playfulness and have that balance okay you know what they say work hard play hard right or work hard play harder? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good with quotes. Okay, let's get another message for you. Well, okay, that's so many. Sorry, that was like, that was seven cards. Okay, no. <laughs> These are new, so they're stuck together. Okay. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, Aquarius, so we have do not be frustrated, let go and feel peaceful. You have here the star. This is really what's standing out to me and see this shadow here. It feels like something is frustrating you or something is trying or hold something is bothering you. Okay, so remember what I said about I felt a heavy energy because you're you're awakening, you're going through a lot of changes, you're healing. When you're healing, it's not pretty, okay? I always warn people, when you choose this path, when you say, okay, I'm going to fulfill my destiny or I'm going to heal, I'm going to spiritually ascend, it's not rainbows and unicorns. It's dark, it's painful, it's lonely, it's you go through depression periods, you're healing a lot, you're removing and you have to go to the darkness in order to see the light. 
So there's a lot of heavy energies with you right now, Aquarius, and that's why the divine really wants to emphasize on play, playfulness. And you can even see the differences of these two energies, how this is dark and this is light. So you have to find that balance during your time of awakening. Do something that makes you happy. Do something that makes you feel lighthearted and very playful. But I did feel this heaviness, okay, this heaviness energy. And the divine is saying, do not be frustrated. Let go and have peace. This is also telling me, um, pray. Um, give your worries to God. Give your worries to the universe. Give your worries to your ancestors. Whoever it is that you believe in, surrender your worries to us. Allow us to take your worries so that we can transmute them into peace. Okay? And then you have here, make a change, welcome change in your life. What I'm getting here, this is interesting because this, this card came up in the, in the reading I did two weeks ago um, uh, of the two trees with one root. So you may resonate with that if you want to take a look. Um, but this card did come up because, again, we're talking about your transformation. There's a lot of changes going on within you. I feel like someone is very rigid, okay, because I'm seeing a lot of straight lines. Like, um, I'm, like, someone is very meticulous, someone is very rigid, okay? This could be you or maybe someone connected to you. I feel like you're kind of taking on their energy. Someone is very, very rigid in their process. Not OCD, but it's just rigidness. So, like like it has to be one way um this could be this could be uh connected to the frustration that you're feeling okay so maybe you feel very rigid because you have a lot of worries or things that are holding you back or kind of you know um maybe clouding your emotions okay so there is a sense of dark cloud clouding your emotions or you can't see the way through or you can't see past a situation okay so there is a change, so there is light. At the, okay, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There is a change. So if you're feeling frustrated about a situation in your life, there is going to be a positive change. Okay, things are going to get better. Whatever it is that you're frustrated about, there is also a health concern regarding a family member. Um, everything is going to be fine. They are going to make changes in their lifestyle. I feel like the changes that, that they need to make is a lifestyle related. It's not medicinal. It's just a lifestyle change and they will benefit greatly from that lifestyle change. Their health is definitely going to improve. So that's, that's a message for someone that needed to hear it. Um, okay, Spirit is making me feel like I have to talk a million miles a minute. So just bear with me because this card is peeking out at the bottom of the deck and it's called speak out and it says communicate and solve the conflicts so you're you're frustrated about something aquarius and it's going to be different for everyone again um but they're making me feel like i have to talk really fast because there's something that you need to talk about maybe this is to a partner of yours maybe this is to yourself maybe you have to just you know speak out and pray about it maybe this is with the family member um, that's having these issues that you feel like you need to help them, something like that. But there is something in your life where you need to speak out and speak your truth, be authentic, be yourself, and it will resolve and create a ripple effect. But they made me talk really fast <laughs> because someone needs to speak out, okay? Someone needs to talk. Okay, let me take a breath. Okay, so lots of changes in your life. Everything's going to be fine. Whatever it is that you are frustrated about, it almost feels like growing pains because I feel like you're growing, you're growing through a lot of things and it's just growing pains. It's just you're going through growing pains <laughs> with this ascension process and your guidance is to play, to dance, to be lighthearted, to balance out that heavy energy that you feel and changes are imminent okay it's like they're right around the corner and I always say changes are small even if you feel like you need to make a lifestyle change or you need to make some changes or changes are coming into your life and you need to just be open to change change doesn't have to be big okay it 
when you hear the word change it doesn't have to be this drastic oh my god my life is never going to look the same change change can be so little and any little change can impact your life in a great way okay so four of material okay this is four of pentacles energy It's really interesting because I'm getting this energy of you embracing yourself, you embracing your beauty. This is this is usually like this card of holding on, holding on to too much material, like all this stuff, but I'm not feeling like that. I'm feeling like the divine is saying, embrace yourself. Embrace who you are, embrace your beauty, and don't feel like, I don't like saying don't feel like that, because if you feel like that, you feel like that, sorry. I mean, I mean to say, try not to feel bad for feeling yourself. You know what I mean? Like, if you feel cute, you feel cute. You know? If you feel like putting on makeup, taking a selfie, posting it, don't feel bad about it. If you feel really good about who you are, if you feel amazing, don't be shy to speak out. Don't be shy to let your light shine. Don't be shy and don't try not to feel bad. Sorry, I keep saying don't. Try not to feel bad about it. You have nothing to feel bad. If you feel good, if you feel beautiful, if you feel cute, if you feel sexy, whatever it may be, allow yourself to feel play. Okay, play. So this is this playful energy. This is about letting loose and, and just really enjoying yourself and gifting yourself that time. Gift yourself with time to, you know, self-love, self-care. That's the energy that's coming through for you, Aquarius. And this could be that small change, you know, like making little changes here and there. There's also a routine change for someone. Someone is changing up their routine be anything because you are this person where your prophecies are unfolding okay and I'm getting this this vibe for you this first half of August of take some time to shift your focus into yourself now instead of focusing so much on you know the healing and the growth and the ascension and Yes, that's beautiful. And yes, you know, that is amazing work. But that when you always just focus on that, it does become very daunting. And the divine wants you to now balance. Okay, enjoy life. Enjoy yourself. It's really the message for this month. So it's a little bit more lighthearted than this like in-depth ancestor healing, guidance, and ascension, and awakening, and 5D, it's like, see, they're, they're taking me, they're taking me more earthly energy instead of more, you know, of the 12th dimensional energies, they're taking me more to this uh, level of enjoying the earthly elements and the earthly energies and saying, enjoy this right now, because there needs to be a balance, okay? I feel like I'm channeling here this earth I'm channeling these type of energies and elements because it's time to play it's time to focus on your hair it's time to focus on you know your clothes it's time to put on something nice like that's the energy that I'm getting for you because you've worked really hard on your soul on your growth on the healing on the ascension and we're going to come back to that yes probably in the next reading but this half of August is for you to focus on you, on your body, on your, like, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting hair. I don't know, someone's, maybe someone just changed their hair. Like, see what I mean? It's just like small changes where you're like, I feel great. I feel great. Welcome change into your life. It's really going to impact you in a really beautiful way. I feel like this is such a direct message for you, Aquarius. It's really just about balancing right now balancing the moon the moon keeps coming out and I sage these and I cleanse them for every every energy read the moon is so important so there's I, I don't know if the moon is in Aquarius on August 3rd it could be 
but this is also embracing this divine feminine energy the moon is divine feminine energy so this is about embracing yourself being open being open seeing yourself in a different light as well seeing yourself in in the moonlight so this is very symbolic of recognizing yourself seeing yourself in a different light take a different view take a different perspective do something different with your you know physical self change your routine do something a little bit different you're going to feel 10 times better lighter and they're saying just don't don't be frustrated don't be frustrated five of voices here's that frustration here's that mental conflict okay so maybe meditation is the way for some maybe listening to music you know is someone's way of you know um dissipating that noise See, there's also someone extending something to you. Um, there is someone dealing with a conflict here. Yep. Okay. Eight of Swords at the bottom. So there is something bothering you, Aquarius. Something, something heavy, and I feel like it has something to do with someone. Maybe a family member, friend, relationship, whatever it may be. But someone, you just need to speak out and communicate about it, and things things will definitely be better. Um, Someone is going to extend something to you here. Um, this looks like, I don't know, a grape tree, an olive tree, something like that. But some someone is going to give you something and it's going to enlighten you, okay? It's going to be clear. So whatever is conflicting you, um, because I do feel like you're you're in a, it's like you're in a, you're in a space between a rock and a hard place. I'm really horrible with quotes, but I think you get what I'm saying, right? Okay, so things are going to be peaceful. Things are definitely going to be better with this, you know, conflict that you have. Um, and then again, six of wands, six of inspiration, shining the light on you. Don't try not to be afraid of shining your light. Don't dim yourself is the point. Look at your light shining even in even in the darkest of times even in the darkest of times the divine is saying try not to be frustrated there is going to be peace give yourself time gift yourself with time to give back to yourself is really the point here for this half of august aquarius there is going to be small changes that you're going to see or changes that you're going to facilitate in your life. Um, I'm also seeing here that you're going to be recognized. I feel like you're going to communicate something to either someone or a group of people and they're going to listen to you. They're going to recognize you. They're going to recognize your voice. They're going to recognize the voice of truth that you are speaking. And it's also it's lighthearted, and this is going to change the dynamic of, uh, of a connection, um, a situation between people, family, whatever it may be. It's going to change the dynamic for the better. And this is a change that you are welcoming and a change that they are also embracing. Okay? So this is what I have for you, Aquarius, for your spiritual growth, and it's definitely a lot lighthearted than what we have been recently reading, and I think that is the message for you, is to be lighthearted for this first half of August. Give back, give time to yourself, gift yourself with time for self-love and self-care, and try not to dim your light, shine shine okay don't be afraid shine so um i love this reading for you i think you know this energy for you is well deserved you guys are honestly you're leading the bat the pack for everyone i know that you guys are so strong so spiritual so evolved and you deserve this time to you know lay low lay back and enjoy and play Okay, you totally deserve this. So I'm really happy that um, 
this message is coming out for you. So I hope it, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it resonated with you. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to do your romantic love reading. Thank you so much. Love you all and God bless.